everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you the stamina usage for all the weapons in the forest, including some of the non-weapons. It's part of the weapon guide series I've been doing for like two years and never finished, but we're getting there. Now, first off, I've already done this video before, but I've deleted it because it was part of my weapons upgrade tutorials and I ended up combining them all into one video, but I never uploaded this video again because I planned on redoing it. But here were the numbers originally, and some of these numbers have changed. Not many, but enough to make you try out some of these weapons. Now, based on my experience in the game, stamina is probably the most important stat. The reason being is that if you do a lot of damage with melee and you have a lot of strength, you can't swing that weapon if you don't have stamina. And if you use the bow, you're not going to do very well if you can't disengage from enemies. You can't use the bow when you're being hit and you can't block. So stamina is extremely important. And the more stamina something uses, the worse off you are. So keep in mind, you've got to combine all the factors. It's damage, it's range, it's speed, if it's pretty or not, etc. Now this is footage from my original video. Now here I'm showing you the modern axe doing normal attacks and power attacks. Now originally I thought it used 7.9 stamina per swing but I have a feeling it's not rounding it up. And you'll see what I mean, because all the weapons are either a single digit or 0.1 off being a digit, a digit. And also something I missed when I originally tested these is that the modern axe uses more stamina for a power attack than every other weapon. And it's hard to actually calculate how much that is. Because what actually happens is when you start the power attack, it uses two points of stamina. After about half a second, it uses 29, when every other weapon is 27. I do not know what that's about, it's just something to keep in mind. And just to clarify, here's the testing I've done recently in the latest version, version 1.11. All these weapons use 27 points of stamina, except the modern axe. It does that thing where it uses, I don't know, I think about 31, 32 maybe. That's just a guesstimate. So it doesn't matter if you use something heavy like the club, or if you use the bone, it's all going to use 27 points of stamina. So if you're into speed upgrades, power attacks won't be your friend. Though if you're into damage upgrades, power attacks will be your friend. Just keep in mind when you're using a power attack, if you get hit during the animation, it cancels the attack, which is really annoying. Though, it happens with normal attacks as well. How I've set this up on the screen is that I've enlarged the HUD, so you can see the stamina bar there. The number down the bottom left, that's the amount of stamina it uses. And up the top right is the stamina bar enlarged from the ultimate cheat menu using mod API. So you can actually see. The reason the bar up the top will sometimes change is because I originally recorded it in 1080p because the cheat menu is much easier to see and read. And the second half of recordings, I forgot to change that. So it just looks different, but it doesn't change anything. I've locked my thirst, fullness and energy to help with getting an accurate result. And I'm going to be doing this from worst to best. So starting off was the uh, power attacks at 27 and then moving on from there. Next is throwing upgraded and weak spears. They both use 22 points of stamina. I've mentioned this a lot before. They both do the exact same damage. So if you're going to throw spears, throw the weak spear. You don't want to lose your upgraded spear, especially if you actually use it as a weapon. Though if you've got the incendiary attachment to it, you obviously can't throw a weak spear with that. That also uses the exact same stamina as the upgraded spear. Something interesting I notice is when throwing it, the spear actually comes back a little bit. So it goes forward and back midair. I don't know why that is. It's probably just an oversight. Next is the head. That uses 20 points of stamina. There's no reason to be using this unless you want to insult your enemies. Next is a rock, but not upgraded rock. It uses 15 points of stamina. Though I think there is an achievement that's linked to the rock and not upgraded rock. Next is a skull that uses 12 points of stamina. I can't see a viable situation to use this one. Next is the upgrade rock that uses 12 points of stamina. So it actually uses less stamina than the normal rock. So apparently attaching a piece of cloth to a rock makes it easier to swing. Next is the crafted axe that uses 11 points of stamina. And here is the downward attack. Back when I originally tested, it used about 5% less stamina, though it uses the exact same now. The crafted axe actually has no real use in the game. It's bad. Next is the club, and that uses 11 points of stamina. This is quite a lot, though it hits really hard, so you want to whack heaps of damage upgrades on this one. So you're going to be swinging slowly, but you're going to be hitting hard, and you won't have to worry about your stamina so much. Well, that's what I think anyway. The crafted club, that uses 10 points of stamina. So one less than the normal club. Its damage is a lot lower than it, but its speed's a lot higher. And both can take fire upgrades too. The weak spear uses 10 points of stamina. This is what I mean about the point 0.1 value. It's actually 9.9, .9, but for ease and accuracy, I'm just going to say 10. 
and with all spears if you hit the ground with them they actually don't use any stamina the upgraded spear is exactly the same it uses the same amount of stamina and doesn't use any when attacking the ground though the weak spear is absolutely terrible for melee combat it should only be thrown if you want to use a spear for melee combat use the upgraded spear next is a rusty axe and that also uses 10 points of stamina it's actually not a very good weapon it might have max block though if you're using a piece of armor you're going to be blocking all damage anyway if you're using like a upgraded stick or a modern axe it's quite unfortunate next is the arm that has eight points of stamina now i don't recommend using this the arm doesn't have any use as a weapon or as a tool the only upside to it is that it actually has a lot of range less than the spear but more than the katana it's weird next is the climbing axe that uses eight points of stamina it's best to use this as a tool and not as a weapon it is a terrible weapon Next is the plain axe, and that also uses 8 points of stamina. This is a terrible weapon as well, you should really get a better weapon as soon as you can. <laughs> Even with upgrades it suffers. Next is the modern axe, which uses 8 points of stamina. This is by far the best melee weapon in the game though, because the amount of upgrades it can take its damage, speed and range, it is the best overall weapon in the game. Next is the katana, that uses 7 points of stamina. Now where the katana falters is its speed and stamina usage. It uses too much for how much damage it does. So it's actually good in normal mode, but once you step into hard mode or hard survival, you're just going to get wrecked if you use this weapon. At max strength on hard survival, you'll use all your stamina just to kill one cannibal. Next is the machete. Now this is a weapon that's changed. It was originally the same as the katana. It was 7 points of stamina. But it's been moved to 6, which is very interesting. And I am going to be testing this out in my Season 7 playthrough because that's actually not much stamina. It does swing fast, so if you whack heaps of damage upgrades on it, it's actually going to be quite lethal. The biggest downside to it is its range is terrible. Next is the meats. They all use five points of stamina. That includes the rabbit, the lizard, the fish, and the large meat, as well as the small meat. Next is the heads in the game. That includes like the animal heads and mutant heads. They all use five points of stamina. So if for some reason you can swing a massive shark head and it'll only use 5 points of stamina, but a human head will use 20. Forest logic at it again. Next is upgraded stick that uses 5 points of stamina as well. Same when attacking the ground, but its attack rate's quite slow that you'll recover your stamina before you actually run out. So you can attack the ground non-stop. Next is the normal stick. This actually uses less stamina. It only uses 4. So if you're real tight with stamina and you want to harvest rocks from the ground, this might be a better way. Next is the tennis racket. That only uses four points of stamina. This is actually one of my favorite weapons in the game because it uses so little stamina that you actually recover your stamina faster than you can swing it. So you can swing indefinitely with damage upgrades. And I think you'd need a decent amount of athleticism. And it swings fast enough that you can keep enemies stunned. So it's a really interesting weapon. Whack 15 teeth and 15 glass on this and go kill some cannibals. It's actually quite funny because you're beating them to death with a tennis racket. What's funny is that before your weapon even hits the ground, you actually recover your stamina. I personally find that amusing anyway. Next is the leg. That uses three points of stamina. Though it swings quite slowly, and I can't see it being a use for anything. And its damage is really low. Next is a bone. That also uses three points of stamina. The benefit of the bone is that it swings quite fast. It actually makes it the best item to raise strength with if you want to glitch it. Basically, just stand there, just keep swinging it. Using an auto click is preferable. So make sure you always have a bone on you. Though you can't assign it to your backpack. And next are all the weapons, items, etc. that use zero stamina. First is the repair tool. That's been around for a long time. This is very useful for getting sticks and leaves. Because you don't need to use any stamina. That you won't raise any strength while you're doing it. So that can be a positive or negative, depending if you're on hard survival. And next is Timmy's toy. That uses zero stamina. And you can actually kill armsies with these things. <laughs> and next are all the ranged weapons that you can throw or items that you can use that just don't use any stamina. So like all the bombs, molotovs, spray can, chainsaw, all that type of stuff. And that includes the ranged weapons. So like the slingshot, the modern bow and the crafted bow, the crossbow, flare gun, flintlock pistol and a throwable rock. So the only things that use stamina when you throw them are the spears. So that's it. I think I've got enough information to compile it into a guide. I will probably need someone's help with the math side of things to break it down into percentages and work out values and stuff like that. Then that way I could give the weapons scores rather than just giving you the flat numbers and then having you work it out. I've got to look forward to doing all this when Sons of the Forest comes out. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. Cheers.